every time I do an elevator pitch, the first shot is never the final shot. The first shot is always a little off center. And then all of a sudden, I'll give you an example with my consulting practice. So for a long time, I talked about marketing and marketing strategy and teaching people marketing and stuff like that. And it wasn't resonating until one day I noticed that, in fact, I think it may have been a client that said it, was that I was bringing big company marketing to small companies in a way that when I'm done, they don't need me anymore. They can have a junior level marketing person execute a sophisticated marketing strategy because I give them the roadmap. And that became the key to my elevator pitch is that I give people marketing strategy so that junior level marketing people can execute. It was what I was doing, but it was like a light bulb came out and suddenly I knew that that was my elevator pitch. There's an aspect in marketing where people think that people buy by logic, but they actually buy by guts. It's the emotions that make a decision. And the same thing applies to your brand as a leader. If your brand as a leader is about things and about the what and the how, I mean, I keep going back to this. It really needs to be about the why. People buy you. In the end, they're buying you. The best elevator pitch is a story. Humans are natural storytellers. It's how we've communicated for millions of years. If you can communicate your leadership brand via story, it eliminates many of the opportunities for misunderstanding because people naturally can, can understand your story. Mm -hmm.